Normally, one would begin a documentary on this subject by listing the various names for the cryptid in question. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Skunk Ape, etc. But it's probably safe to assume you're familiar with this already. So let's just jump into it. Bigfoot is a large, hirsute man that has been sighted in wild, wooded, and remote areas across the world. My name is Magpie Winthrop, and today I will tell you about my personal encounter and how it changed my life forever. I know I said that everyone already knows about Bigfoot, but I'd like to present some evidence to help my case. This is how the wild man of the woods first got his famous moniker, Footprints. I'd like to note for the sake of integrity that we are unable to locate authentic big footprints in time for today's shoot. So our props department painstakingly created this accurate reproduction of a print that I witnessed myself only a few weeks ago. Another thing to look for in authentic big footprints is that they tend to be rather deep, owing to the creature's size and weight. As you can see, the print bears many similarities to an average human footprint. It has a heel, an arch, and five toes of various sizes. The biggest difference? is the scale. Of course, evidence for Bigfoot extends far beyond simple footprints. There are countless videos, photographs, eyewitness testimonies, and even hair samples, all coalescing into an argument that is simply absurd to ignore. And now I can add a small piece to the puzzle that is Bigfoot by telling you my story. It was two years ago, early spring in Northern Ontario. I was in the area visiting some distant relatives that I was not particularly fond of. Consequently, I spent much of my time wandering the forest. I was as aware of Bigfoot as any city mouse, but had no expectations or intentions of finding him. That day, I had traveled a little farther than I had before until I lost track of the way back to the house. I paused to consider my situation, and eventually decided that a certain tree in the distance looked familiar. I was just about to head off in that direction when I heard a sound. It was undeniably the sound of an animal. Something about it made me think that it was a large animal. My first thought was of a bear, but the sound was unlike any bear sound I had heard before. No, despite it being animalistic sound, there was something distinctly un-animal about it, something human. Since then, I'd soon come to learn that that was the sound of a Bigfoot. Other Bigfoot researchers have recorded this sound, many of whom play it back into the woods in hopes of coaxing the creature out. Whether it was a bear or something else leaving the area was likely the best course of action. I could sense another presence following me. Soon that sense was confirmed when I heard something moving through the woods. The thing in the trees kept pace with me, never falling behind, but never getting closer. Suddenly, I heard the sound again, much closer and louder than before. I froze. Though I was terrified of what I would see behind me, some strange compulsion took control, and I turned on my heels. There in the trees, I saw him. Drew a picture of what I saw. Can't say for certain whether or not Bigfoot was smiling, but I thought it was important to draw it this way to accurately portray the connection that I have to this wondrous creature. A bird call briefly distracted me. Long enough for my Bigfoot to disappear. Come to the woods often now. Hopes of seeing him again. And deep in my heart, I think he's looking for me too.